Welcome to this AutoVista video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we want to show how to process seam lines and to use the seam line editing on the AutoPhoto production. For the example, we will use the demo data set seam line, where we have four AutoPhotos, which overlap and we will use this data set together with the tile definition existing here for this part just in case uh, we you need to define them yourself here is the tsp information in case you need to make your own tsp file and it doesn't exist for you let's start we will open AutoVista. we will select in the project dialog our imagery we will load a project folder. We will go into the seam line folder and select this folder and have the four auto photos. We will load our tile definition. Using the load tile definition from file. Select our TSP file that we just showed. And then activate here these files by dragging here all the six uh, tiles and select the activation or mark selected tiles for output. This will highlight these green parts just that we see here. That's it, we can close here. Very important for us is the preferences. We need to check uh, if you have background checking in your auto master run what is your non-background image data. Typically in AutoMaster this is the black color which indicates value 0 in the 8-bit and also z value 0 in the 16-bit. So please be aware to have the correct setting here with your own data. For this demo we will use default settings so we will run the processing and I will set up here first and then go with you through it. Here we go. I defined an output folder called Radiometric Corrected Autos. I will just run a global tilting, use the feature detection and I will save the adjusted auto photos. I will not save the mosaic in this example. We close and process and then we will take a look at the result. Here we go. Let's take a look at the output folder. We have again the same four autophotos, but these autophotos now are radiometrically corrected. We close AutoVista and we will open AutoVista Seam Editor. I don't need to save the project as this is automatically done. We open the automatically generated project file. which is OV minus and then date and time. The images here exist, but as we see here, these are the original photos and therefore we will select these four and we will change the path. Here selecting change image path and this time we will go into this radiometric corrected auto and select this path because the name are the names of the radiometric corrected auto photos is identical like the original ones. The advantage is we can now do the seamline editing already on the radiometric corrected auto photos and we will see directly if we have color problems or also some geometric problems. Let's activate these images. In case you have projects larger than 400 to 500 autophotos, we recommend to activate first the first 400 images, then do the seamline editing, then deactivate them and activate the next 400 images, just to avoid problems with the RAM. Activating the images will show me in the seam editor the seam lines 
we will make a small uh, short correction here and show how to proceed with the corrections. We activate the images, we zoom into an area. We will open for this area here the existing auto photos by keeping the right mouse button clicked and opening in the window here auto photo 6758 and the same region opening the auto photo 6790. We will lock, pan and zoom for both of these two auto photos which means when we change here the zooming in this part here then the two photos will follow up here with all the functions that we zoom or pan here. To start the seam editing we use here the new seam polygon function. I will expand the upper auto photo starting here placing here my seam line and you can see in the two uh, auto photos here the line already existing so I can place it either here and see and just uh, check the auto photos or you can also go here and place the line directly here in one of the auto photos and use this one of this part. When you zoom in in one of these um, uh, auto photos all the other images will follow up and we can here now use uh, these uh, auto photos to continue our measurement. Okay, then I just finish by drawing the polygon that everything is included. I activate it and I change here the correction. Of course, we would continue the editing for all the parts, but for us, we will just here save the project, override in this case here our project and also all the auto uh, metadata information um, for these auto photos. Very important here is that we really are working on the correct metadata folder which was defined in our AutoVista run. We need later on to guarantee that we will again access this metadata folder when we want to apply our corrections. Okay, so we can close the seam editor and restart AutoVista. We will open again the same project file. Select the IPD file here. The autophotos are now already the radiometric corrected autophotos as we change the path in the seam editor and we save the project. The tiles are already here selected and activated so we will process all the parts here. So we can close the project dialog. We can enter the process settings. This time we will not save the adjusted images, but we will save the mosaic output. And as the images are already radiometric corrected, we don't need to run a global tilting, so we can say none. And we will not run the feature detection to rerun the seam editing, but we will just apply our seam corrections. In the seam applicator options, we need to be aware that our seam line should be not closer than 20 pixels to the border. So please be aware when you run the editing in the seam editor that you are not closer than 20 pixels to the border. In this case, you would blur the border of the 20 pixels into the other image, which can cause problems in the seam uh, area. In case you want to write the mosaics to a different output folder, please be aware to keep the same metadata directory. So changing the output directory will automatically change also the metadata directory. In case you want to have a different output, then make first here copy from this metadata directory, browse where you want to write your, C, your mosaics, mosaic demo. You see the metadata directory automatically changes, but we will now 
paste our old metadata directory. So we will access now all our changes that we have done. And we can now apply our changes to this new output and say close and process. Okay, let's take a look at our final result. I will just reopen Ultra Vista and only load now here our output folder. So here we are. Let's take a look here at the images and we will also import our seam line. And we can see here, this is the correction we have done afterwards for our seam line correction, which was now correctly applied. I hope this helps you to run the seam editing correctly with AutoVista when we work with radiometric corrected autophotos in the seam editor. Thank you and have fun using these functions. Goodbye. <music>